New Vegas declared to run Mojave, Brotherhood. White Legs declared to run the Timekeepers. Alright, White Legs are definitely dead. Picos joins Rio Pact. Yeah, it looks like we're crossing. And you've pinned them. Capture of the Warren. Mutant armies of the Troll Warren have fallen to the Myluck tribe. The FE field, FEV filled caves surrounding Crater Lake becoming militarily occupied by the invading force. With the mutants within the Warren being forced to flee their homes in retreat, is there any future for mutant kind in the far north now? I mean, so far so good. 28 days until new guns, we'll hold off. Yeah. If we have any ships. Do we have an Admiral? No. Cuts corners. Seems reasonable to me. all the same section? Looks like it. Alright, now that people are starting to cross in some bigger numbers, I need to start actually giving them proper orders. Otherwise we lose momentum. Let's see if we can cut them in half. Good. units trapped there. That's pretty good. We seem to be across in pretty big numbers. <laughs> we do get followers of the apocalypse. Well, that's a bit weird. Sindrian, thanks for the bit. Sir, sir, the internet trolls are invading. What? Sorry? Sir? Troll warrens are invading. We're not sure if they're even capable of using computers. They can. They just use them to hit you. Following their recent establishment in our neighbouring rivals, a group of humanitarian pacifists who dubbed themselves the followers of the apocalypse have begun trickling into our land. Their aim is seemingly noble, to provide services for those in need, ranging from medical care to agricultural services. Now, here's the thing. I think that ordinarily the followers of the apocalypse would be something of an anathema to the Myalog tribes. Except... For the fact that they can effectively give us unlimited water. Yeah, they're actually really good for providing food supplies. And for that reason alone, I would say that the Myalarks would be like, sure, join us. So yeah, we can we, we can do a vote. Yes to the followers or no to the followers. I, I could see this going either way, honestly. New poll! So once again, we're going to be doing a poll. This is going to be where the subscribers count for double. So if you're a subscriber, your vote will be worth more. So if you wish your vote to be worth more, then you should absolutely become a subscriber. Um, so vote number one, if you're on mobile, is going to be yes, let them in. No, don't let them in. 
So vote slash one if you're on mobile. So slash vote, forward slash, space, and then a one for yes, let them in. Or forward slash vote, space, two for no, do not let them in. If you're on PC, it should just appear on the chat, above the chat. So again, mobile slash vote space one for yes, let them in. Slash vote space two, no, don't let them in. Water producers and a mobile snack for the queen. Yes, please. I mean, that is the main draw to the followers, is they would give us a really big water supply. And as you may have noticed, our nation tends to use a fair amount of water. We produce 58, we're using 92. For example. And all of our production is water. Yeah, this does seem to be rather one-sided. More one-sided than even the one-sided votes we've had today, which is quite impressive. So 22% of you have said, no, don't let them in. Or 78% of you have said, yes, do. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and end it there. You've had long enough. And we're going to say, let them come, they'll only do good. So we can grant them bases, escort their caravans, placate them or divert some of their supplies. I don't think we need to do that. Okay. The other thing I want to do is make sure that we have as many water producing facilities as we can. All right, more military factories. We're saving those for 16 days. Can't be bothered to assign them. I'm feeling lazy. And you guys, I'm going to say, let's go and attack from there now. Actually, no. Good. Let's cancel this current order. And say that you also want to go north. Yeah, I like that more. Scrap excavation. Because I want to have as short a border with them as possible. Because I suspect they've got more divisions than I do. Yeah, they have about 50. I've got 27. So getting out maneuvered is a big threat. Great Tunnel to Malulu is completely pointless. You know what? I'm going to go for construction repair. Let's keep the stuff behind us repaired as we go. I'm actually somewhat surprised that we're as strong as we are. It's the fact that they can't pierce my armor. That's that's what this is all down to. Although we do actually have surprisingly good soft attack as well. They have got better piercing than we do, but not enough. And also better breakthrough. What's my defense like? My defense is pretty impressive. Mostly because of my generals, I think. <clears throat> We're still suffering supply issues in the south. We're working on it, though. We are working on it. We have tied up an awful lot of uh, their dudes up here in the north. I'm going to 
keep these separate for the time being. We can always merge them up after this. Risk it for da biscuit. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. It said can't use weapon to arm my researching guns. I'm only researching the uh, anti tank rifles. That's it. Um, let's add you to there. Let's close this. And then say that this is going to wipe that out. Because there's a fair old number of them here. And I'd like them dead. AT rifles. Done. We need to start producing those. Because we are actually using them in the army. I'm going to say high priority as well. Let's turn it this way around. Okay. Focus fire. Let's increase the strength of the AT guns that we have. We're going to cut them off very, very soon. I mean, this encirclement's a pretty nice one. There's a lot of bad guys in here. Including their behemoths, I just noticed. Remember, the behemoths look like heavy tanks. <laughs> overrun, overrun. Beautiful! Alright, I'm happy with that. That was good. B E A beautiful. Let's do this. Oh, that's not a cut off. Oh. In fact, that northern section seems to be using up a lot of troops. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign you to that line. I'm going to cancel this. We're going to move you up to here. I'm going to move you. Up to whoops, why not moving there? Here. Stab Jindy. Oh, whoops. Carry on. We're about to take their second capital. I mean, they're already halfway to capitulation. They've lost 5,000 troops. Although, admittedly, most of those were probably the uh, encirclement that we got. And they're down to just four, uh, 37 divisions, maybe. So they don't outnumber us nearly as much. More military factories. Let's keep on going for the AT guns, because we have quite a big shortage of those. Oh, they pushed us back. That's irritating. I've changed my mind. Advanced water pumps. Good. So now we need a source of circuitry, which we're not going to get. Uh, better boats? Sure. We are building ships again, which is nice. We took their second capital. Unfortunately, this cutoff is not getting any closer. How's the old supply situation? We're still having a horrendous supply problem down here in the south. How's this overlapping so badly? Come on, people. Yes, now we will. Huzzah! Carcass wastes are about to fall, and at that point, this is a proper cutoff. We'll have split them in half. Again, Brad, thank you very much for the Twitch resubscription. Twitch Prime resubscription, very much appreciate that. Coming in with a two month resub, thank you. Oh, it's still not a cutoff. Damn it. They are really desperate to take this back, but they just can't pierce my armor. And because of that, I'm taking 75% less organization damage and 50% less damage. Having high armor is really strong. Really, really strong. 
That encirclement was about 30% of their army. Yep. <laughs> I know. Oh, come on, people. I need to get... One of these two provinces needs to die. This one, in particular. They are throwing troops into this fight. people. Keep going. 80. 90. Take it. Murino declared we're on Yakuza. Come on, take it. There we go. Right, you lot are assigned to this. I'm going to cancel your current orders, so your job now is to kill this. But for that, I'm going to say go ahead and stop. And then your job is going to be to take this. And then we'll have just the one front, which is towards Crowshaven. And I will give you a moment to re-establish your defences. I'm also going to do staff office plan so that we can push out further. How would a motorised template look in this mod? I struggle to find a good template. You just got to experiment. I mean, motorized. I don't think it's so much about the template, it's the type of motorized you're using. Like the first two, yeah, they're fast, but motorized doesn't really get good until salvaged cars, which is when you start getting hardness. Then wasteland cars. Actually, yeah, you just want to try and get salvaged cars quickly. As for the actual template, I can't remember offhand. I've only played one nation where I was really using motorized, and that was New Canaan. Eighties took six states. East Port, to ha East Port have been annexed. How's New Canaan doing? New Canaan is winning. White legs are losing a lot. Although they did take out the timekeepers, remarkably quickly. Like really quickly, actually. I'm a bit surprised by that. Okay, so they're starting to push me back a little bit here in the south, but that's okay because I'm going to start an attack here in the north. We'll try and finish this. Good. need to take Elkhorn. That will cut off all of their supply. And will also mean that they definitely can't reunite this. That will be two province difference then. Yeah, we're suffering sabotage unfortunately. They've lost 7,000, I've lost 1,000. And you've got enough for another level up. Strong back? Strong back. Let's make your supply issues a little bit less pronounced. On the 80s motorized focus, yes they are. The followers established themselves. Having failed to work out where we were... Uh, we didn't really do anything against them. Followers no longer spreading. The followers are now influential. And that's a good thing because it means that we have access to... These. And I would like to help the followers with a settlement, which gives us more population and also another factory. And then the agriculture experts. Add production plus six in Culp Creek. And then another building slot, which is going to be excellent. Meanwhile, I still haven't taken Elkhorn. Come on, guys. But that's going to be another cutoff. Which actually serves the same purpose. So I'm okay with this. This is fine. Crushing it. Elkhorn has died. Focus fire. Good. How is the weapon shortage? It's 
decreasing. That's another pocket dead. And so will this be. 10,000 dead. I'm actually a little bit surprised that we are crushing them as hard as we are. I was expecting the Troll Warren to put up a better fight than they have. Boss? So let's get everybody into position. We'll do another staff office plan. And then we'll start striking out. Hey, Mordred, good luck with the run. Can I do the 80s next? We'll see. I'll probably do a uh, vote next. I haven't actually decided who I want to play as. Just the... Uh, my lurks have been on my list for so long, it's like I really need to play as them. Okay, we're now up to full strength. A full 30 division. getting pillaged like crazy from behind us which is going to be affecting our infrastructure all right let's get this planning preparation quickly new reno took two states Vault city took one yakuza have been destroyed and then we'll start striking out and hit them hard Oh yeah, of course, we take attrition reduction, so we don't actually take that much attrition even though we're out of supply. And we hit hard, apparently. <laughs> we hit really hard. Just this completely... Oh no, one of their units can pierce the armor. So their Nightkin units can pierce. Thankfully, they shouldn't have very many of them. Shifting alliances, the Great Khans have joined Caesar's Legion. New Canaan's ripping through the White Legs. Is Rigdon still in charge? Yes. I really want to do a capitalist run as New Canaan. I, I would have to say New Canaan is my favourite faction in this game. I really enjoyed that game. Kind of bummed that uh, the game broke. Would have been fun. We'll definitely need to do another game with them and challenge uh, the Legion, if the Legion wins. Speaking of which, how's the NTR doing? Losing. But then again, so is the Western Brotherhood. Once they're gone, they'll be able to focus all their resources on going east. And get cutters. Oh, you got Desert Fox. Cool. One more level, then you can get another trait, and I'll probably turn it into the uh, desert upgrade. Cunning Fox. Legion, done. Okay, so we finished off the Doctrine completely. So let's start working on the Naval Doctrines. I think I'm just going to go straight down the centre for now. I'll make the decision as to which branch to go after. What did I enjoy about New Canaan? The sense of impending doom, the... Just the atmosphere behind their focus trees. I liked the different focuses. I liked the different branching choices. I liked that there was a focus tree if you won the war against the White Legs or if another one if you lost it. It was just really, really well done. Maybe do a new Kanan run but do the Kanan Flames thing. Well, the thing is, I find it very difficult to purposefully lose. So if we came up against the White Legs, who were just really strong, because remember that, that war could have gone either way. It was some kind of lucky uh, cutoffs with the uh, motorized units that won me it. It really could have gone either way, and that's another thing, it's just like really well balanced. New Vegas' downfall. Ooh, wow. Caesar broke across. 
No, it's the Great Khans who did. Surprise attack by the Great Khans took New Vegas. For the first time in living memory, the casinos in New Vegas Strip failed to open for business this morning, largely thanks to their annihilation and the fierce fighting against the Great Khans. For four days, fighting in the Strip raged as the Securitrons and mobs loyal to the great families of the casinos attempted desperately to prevent their precious city from falling to hostile powers. Khan! Very good, Ben. Very good. Oh, we're going for Crow's Haven. Once Crow's Heaven goes. Nope, they still got 5%. Love this track, it's such a good song. Head sick chow. Broken Ghost declared war on Camlo. So things in the north are just starting to shift. Notice there was a cut off up here. Well, let's go and deal with that then, shall we? Yes. 12,000 losses. I've lost two. And we're still recruiting. We've still got only half of our population done. A song from the front. We'll make sure everyone listens. I don't need to do the boom, 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 boom this time because we're not the uh, super mutants. They lost so many units in those two cutoffs, I think it's safe to say this war is over. I would agree. And to all the people who in my comments have been saying, it's impossible to get cutoffs if you're using battle plans. That's no, not. <laughs> uh, recently I've been getting a lot of comments on YouTube going like, why use battle plans? They're rubbish. Not if you know how to use them. There we go. I think I would like to take all of their states, please. Magnificent! And suddenly the Myalurk tribe is looking rather more... strong. Okay, um... Don't need to be... well actually yes, it's still worth doing construction repair. Because there's a bunch of stuff that got kind of torn apart. In fact, I think for that end, let's go and shift all of the civilian factories to the top. So they get repaired first. Now that they shouldn't be rebelling against us anymore. Then I think the infrastructure. And then we'll do the military factories after that. We also probably don't need to worry about those anymore, but I'm, I'm still going to do them. Uh, let's say Diamond Peak, Linave, then the water, then the outposts, no, then the infrastructure, then the outposts. There we go. I like it. Refined mixture finished, and I do believe that it's now going to be possible for us to, yeah, here we go. Let's become civilized. They worshipped, so they said, the great old ones, who lived ages before there were any men, who came to the young world out of the sky. Those old ones are gone now, inside the earth and under the sea, but their dead bodies have told secrets and dreams for the first men, who formed a cult which had never died. This was their cult, and those prisoners said it was always existed and would always exist, hidden in the distant wastes and the dark places all over the world, until the time of the great priest Mlulu came from the dark house to the mighty city of Mile, under the waters should rise and bring the earth again beneath her sway. And this will also allow me to possibly core a few places, so I think it's only the coastal. Like the only the literally on the coast. Um, new tech. Actually, how long does this one take? 30 days. I'm going to wait, because then we'll be able to launch straight into the uh, civilized technologies. Clearly, if you know what you're doing with battle plans, it's possible to get cutoffs with them. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I'd also like to recommend the Enclave Reborn submod. It's got incredibly interesting focus tree and some fun unique mechanics for the NTR. I've already installed it. It's not enabled for this game, but I probably will use it in the future. 
All right, I'm also going to grab those of you who are not yet trained and start training you. Slaves escape from High Chapel. High Chapel? Slaves? Freedom is the right for every wastelander, clearly. Why the hell are you slavers? I'm genuinely surprised. Oh, indentured servitude. You got the lowest level. Okay. I guess. Bit weird. 